Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Violet Blue Paper Co. This channel is going to be a creative outlet for me to be able to showcase my work, um, my art, and anything that has to do with being creative. I love paper crafting. I also love planners and journals and notebooks and pens, markers, you name it. Your homegirl is in love with it, okay? Um, and I'm also a small sticker shop owner, which is called Valuable Paper Co., hence the channel name. <laughs> um, and I want to be able to showcase my products, um, just show my creative outlet, and just, you know, behind the scenes of what it is to own a sticker shop and um, everything that goes behind it, from the creative process to the business aspect to the manufacturing part which I do all in home um, I don't work with a manufacturer or um, anything like that I do everything I hand draw all the stickers I make the stickers I print and cut the stickers and so yeah I want to be able to share that process with you guys and everything that comes along with it I'm gonna give you a small tour of um, my studio, which is uh, where the magic happens. I recently just changed locations from um, from my other room to my from one room to another. So it's a whole new setup. It's a whole new location, and yeah. So if you guys enjoy planning and stickers and painting and just anything that has to do with being creative, definitely hit that like button. Hit that subscribe subscribe button and join me along on this journey okay so this is pretty much a uh, viability paper co i switched locations so my setup used to be in my bedroom um, but i switched it over to my daughter's bedroom because it's just um it was a little more spacious and also my husband works during the night and so he comes home super tired, super late and I want to be able to work at my desk and everything without having to interrupt him and having my desk in my room was just not like was not working for me. So I'm going to start from this side. This is my daughter's like helpful hands like her to-do list and her habit trackers. Uh, this is also her calendar to keep track of her behavior so here we have the top of this bookshelf which has all my books along with some of my trinkets um my washi tapes some markers and so this table right here is the i want to say the processing center or the production center for Vita Blue paper co so the printer that i use is the epson um, the Epson ET3170. I got this in 2020 at the start of the pandemic. It was the best investment that I ever like made for my business um, because I waste like barely any ink. And the cutter that I use is the Silhouette Cameo. I believe this is number three. Um, so that's what I use to print and cut my stickers um, and what I've done for like from the very beginning um, here we have all my die cut stickers that I have made and hand drawn I switched from like regular sticker paper to um, to waterproof vinyl paper so all the die cut stickers are waterproof they are um, dishwasher safe and they hold up pretty pretty well um, here are my a6 size stickers um, that I have and that I've been releasing here I have my quarter sheets my cutting mat this is like a, a fabric for the background here we have some um, the freebies that I put in the orders here I have everything that I would need my thank you stickers 
the Happy Mail, along with a squeegee for when I put the overlay, an extra needle. Here I have my Polaroid camera and the charger to my battery. And then here I have my cutting mats that um, for extra use. I also have my bookmarks here that are also hand-drawn as well. They are hand-drawn bookmarks, um, which I love. And then this I got from the SGS conference. Here I have my Vita Blue Paper Co. sign that I totally have to paint, and I'm going to make a separate video for that. Here I have my jewelry making uh, tools, and then this is the main In the description box so here I have all my washies I have pens up there I have my Richard Simmons and my Bob Ross I have my Kirby and my beautiful mom um, here we have some mini sticker albums I'm trying to keep focus I have my mini sticker albums a picture of my beautiful daughter here I have all my um, specialty pens all my specialty pens like simply gilded from honey bee shop um, more sticker albums I painted this myself a head full of fears has no space for dreams I saw that on my trip to Colombia when we moved over there for a few and I was obsessed with that saying and made it like a whole thing uh, here we have my pens and markers my awesome beautiful that my beautiful monitor and keyboard here I have more these are all the main pens that I use um, for my planning and stuff sticker albums more sticker albums more washi tapes more sticker books and stuff like that more sticker books as well this desk right here is like a slight junk drawer but not really because these are all my paper clips clips pins anything that has to do with like decorating my planner it's in here along with my HP paper refills in here we have this basket is all of my post-it notes um, this is my my punch for my planners my ring planners Uh, this is my corner rounder. That's my HP printer. And then here I have my notepads. All my notepads. And then here I have all my tools pretty much. Washi cutters. Uh, tweezers. And stuff like that. And this one just holds my computer. So here, what I love about this setup is that um is that i have this corner space right here i have my easel my paper pads my scrapbooking paper pads my water holder and my canvases along with um happy planner sticker books that i have in there that has my stamps and then here on this shelf i have all my planners and journals um from this side here I have all my paper supplies for the printer and the and everything else and then here I have more paper and more paper supplies um, so yeah that's like a quick setup from top to bottom of where I currently work or where I just moved in literally last weekend so I'm kind of getting getting used to the layout but I'm loving it, I'm loving it.